Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a yard sale haul. There's just a couple of auction things that are going to be mixed in with this one. Um, in my last yard sale footage, you saw I had picked up um, a box of old Christmas stuff and then you saw me looking in a box that had like some really nice Christmas ornaments on top. They wanted $50 for the box. Uh, the man did sell it to me for $40. So I did buy that box. So I was thinking of doing a separate video just kind of like going through those boxes together. Um, obviously I didn't list anything from it. I still have yet to really dig into the one because it was so dark in that garage and it's still like just sitting in my garage right now so I think that I'm gonna do like a video just kind of going through those boxes together for fun uh, but let's just get started with this haul so the first thing that I have and never have I ever found a living dead doll out in the wild. I actually have a little bit of a collection of living dead dolls myself. I think I have maybe, maybe five. It's not like a huge collection by any means, but um, living dead dolls are expensive to begin with. Um, but some of them, you know, once they are retired and that type of thing, like the value of them does go up. Um, and I found actually two living dead dolls at a yard sale. The other one I haven't listed yet because when I looked it up, the uh, resale price on it isn't that fantastic. So I'm thinking of just putting that in my collection for now. Um, I didn't bring it down here, but I'll try and show it in like my next haul so you can see what it looks like. But I did list this one. Um, I paid $20 for it, which I think was a really great deal. Um, this one is an Alice in Wonderland, well, Living Dead Dolls in Wonderland, and it's the White Rabbit. So this is what the doll looks like. The dolls, Living Dead Dolls, they're definitely creepy. They kind of have that horror type of vibe to them. Um, so they're obviously not for everyone, but there's like two sides to me. Like <laughs> there's like the, the real girly side that I love everything like really sweet and cute. And then there's the other side, like I love horror stuff and like the creepy stuff and everything like that. So these are just amazing to me. I actually have, um, the Hellraiser one, the pinhead version, that one's like my absolute favorite. Um, so yeah, I did, I did debate on keeping this one, but I did list it. I listed this as a buy it now for $139.99. So that was a great score there. I found a little baggie of vintage PVC Care Bears. There were four, was there four? Yes, there was four Care Bears in the baggie. Um, so it was this guy here. This is Good Luck Bear. We got Bedtime Bear. Uh, we got the Cloud Keeper, which I rarely ever come across, the Cloud Keeper. I feel like typically when you find Care Bear stuff, it's of the Care Bears and usually like the, the main characters. And then we have Tender Heart here. So set of four, I paid, it was either 25 cents or 50 cents for the baggie. And I listed these as the lot together for a buy it now of $19.99. Um, Eric and I went to a yard sale and we cleaned up on dolls there. There was um, a girl there and she was actually um, raising money to go on like a trip or something with her school. Um, so we bought all of her dolls and all together I think we paid like $100 for all of the dolls that she had for sale. Um, one of them already sold and I will, you know what, I'm just gonna pop it up now. Um, this was for a limited edition Frozen Elsa doll. Um, just really nice it's large it was like 17 inches tall i actually have two other ones that i'm going to be sharing with you here in a minute um this one here was 20 dollars or 25 dollars was either 20 or 25 dollars and i sold it last night for 299 dollars and 99 cents so that's just insane absolutely insane um so these are some of the other stuff that she had this um Barbie clothing piece was actually inside a box, another Barbie box. So I'll show you the, the Barbie, but this was like a separate like outfit that you could buy 
um, for the Barbie and these go with like the silk stone Barbies and I'll get to that if you've never heard of a silk stone Barbie before they're very expensive um, so this one was called the black enchantment outfit so it came with the dress this little crinoline skirt uh, the tights it was the complete outfit and then there were the little pink um, gloves the shoes uh, the little purse and there's like a little compact in there and a necklace. So it was like the whole complete outfit. Um, and this outfit here I listed as a buy it now for $69.99. So Barbie Silkstone, let's get to it. So this was the Barbie that, um, that outfit was in this box. So this is a Silkstone Barbie doll. It's called Sweet Retreat, and it was in a box like this. And these are considered to be the fashion model collections, and they are the gold label. So the box you see has a gold label on the bottom. So there's a pink label, a gold label, a silver label, and a platinum label. The platinum label is like the most expensive ones where um, there's only like less than a thousand of them that they make. So as far as the gold label, the one I have, um, there's no more than 25,000 made. Uh, but this is a Silkstone Barbie and I will show you what she looks like. So this, she was displayed. She's not brand new in her box. She, um, you know, ugh, she was taken out and displayed. Um, but all of her, her stuff is there um, and her certificate of authenticity and all of that stuff is in there. So this is what the Barbie looks like. She's absolutely adorable um, and she's in this really cute silk outfit with the heels and her sash is in here too. So the sash would go around. Um, her earrings are in here as well, but the one, the post on the back of the one is broken. Um, so, but the Silkstone Barbies, they have like a weight to them. They do not feel like a regular Barbie doll. They almost have like a porcelain doll type of feel is how I would describe it. There's just definite weight to them when you hold them and much more detailed. I mean, their nails are painted. Their face sculpts are more detailed. I mean, it's, it's quite obvious if I were to handle a regular Barbie doll beside this one as far as the difference in them. So this one here, we paid $20 for, and I listed her as a buy it now for $129.99. So there are more dolls, we'll get to that. Um, got this shirt, this is a men's shirt. It has this really cool tribal dragon print on it and the black part is kind of like raised and has like a rubbery type of texture to it. It is by a brand called Top Heavy. Um, this is definitely like a Y2K type of fashion. So this was from 2003, I believe. Um, and it looks to be in like really nice condition, men's size, extra large. I think we paid $2 for this shirt and I have it listed as a buy it now for $49.99. It got quite a few watchers as soon as I listed it. So I'm hoping it goes quickly. Um, got these canisters. These are so cool, but unfortunately they weren't really worth much, which surprises me. Um, these are vintage Rubbermaid canisters. So for like your flour and sugar and stuff like that, they have this really pretty um, floral print on the top. And there is other ones in here. It's not just that one. <laughs> so the next size is this one and then there's three all together so this is the last size but really cute set I thought this was adorable I had never seen I had never seen this before so I paid three dollars for the set and I have it listed as a buy it now for $19.99. This next piece came from an auction. This is a vintage Catherine Holm um, enamelware orange lotus bowl. 
I have only ever sold and or found a Catherine Holm piece one other time in my life. This was a long time ago. Um, I found it at a yard sale and I didn't realize what it was or the value of it or anything like that. But ever since then, I knew to look out for Catherine Holm pieces. Um, they do have, they do not, I should say, they do not have any markings on them. Um, so you're not going to see like Catherine Holm written on it. Uh, but you will know once, once you find one, you will be able to tell. Um, a big factor is obviously it's an enamelware um, piece and the fact that it has this lotus print all over it. That's kind of like what they were known for was like this this print basically um so when i saw this at the auction i was like yeah i know what that is so i did have to pay a little bit for it i had to pay 38 dollars for it so that was my winning bid uh, but i did list it as a buy it now for 179 dollars and 99 cents i definitely feel like there's money to be made in this piece um there are major collectors out there and these pieces are hard to find i mean really hard to find. These aren't things that you just come about naturally all the time in the wild. So, um, you know, the collectors are there for them. <laughs> I found a vintage Sanrio Hello Kitty little tiny mini lunchbox. This is so stinking cute. This is actually from 1976. So it is an older Sanrio piece. Um, really adorable. It has a metal clasp on the top and then you can stick your little goodies inside. Um, vintage Sanrio, vintage Hello Kitty can do really well. I actually like when I found this at a yard sale, it was inside of a pencil case and like I guess nobody opened up the pencil case. I'm the type of person that like I like to open stuff up when I'm at yard sales because you don't know what's inside of them, obviously. And this was laying inside of the pencil case. Um, I didn't really want the pencil case or anything else inside of it. So I asked them if they'd consider selling just this piece. And they said yes for a quarter. So I took it and I listed this as a buy it now for $39.99. So awesome find there. Oh, here is one of those limited edition Disney store 17 inch frozen dolls. Um, again, these dolls were open and displayed. So they're not brand new in the box. They were obviously taken out. But I will say... Um, these dolls, definitely people are wanting to collect them, but also if you would ever come across just the empty box, people are paying like 30, upwards of $30 just for the empty box with no doll inside of it because they want the box to display their doll in. Um, so this one here is Queen Anna. And again, these were all limited edition. Um, so I'd have to look at my listing to see what number she was, but um, they only made like a couple thousand of them. That's why they are, you know, really collectible. So this one here, we paid 20, 20 or 25 dollars for, and I listed her as a buy it now for a hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Again, she's really beautifully detailed. She is jointed. Um, just really nice quality on that. And these were expensive to begin with. I think originally to purchase these off of the Disney store, I think they were like $129 originally. All right, that leads me to the next Silkstone Barbie because I had gotten two of them. Uh, this one here is called the Blue Chiffon Ball Gown. Again, it's another um, gold label. That's what it says down here. And she is also complete in the box with like her certificate of authenticity and all of that good stuff. Um, this is what the doll looks like. She is gorgeous. And look at her face. Her necklace is super blinged out and it's actually metal. So it's like, it looks like an actual piece of jewelry. It's not plastic or anything like that. Um, and she's wearing this really pretty long gown. She's got these shoes on, just absolutely gorgeous. And again, she's also like, you know, she has like the wrist joints and um, like she can bend 
at the knees and all of that good stuff. So she is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, let me stick her back in here. So she was $25 and I listed her as a buy it now for $169.99. So great deal on these dolls. This one was another of the limited edition Frozen dolls. This one was Elsa the Snow Queen. Again, absolutely gorgeous, beautifully detailed, and so stinking pretty. Um, even like the back of the box is like tied in ribbon. Um, this one here, again, probably $20, $25. And we listed her as a buy it now for $199.99. You see, like she's in her, she was opened up, so she's not like tied to the back. So gotta be a little bit careful so she's not banging against the sides. Um, this piece came from a yard sale. This is a Fenton custard glass little vase with hand-painted flowers it is signed by the maker on the bottom this does glow under black light it is um, a custard glass uh, this here we paid two dollars for and i listed it as a buy it now for 29 dollars and 99 cents this bowl also glows under black light uh, i don't know who made this it's like a three-legged bowl with these hand-painted flowers around the sides i bought this at an auction this glows really nicely. I paid $2 for this at the auction and I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. This next item also came from an auction. Um, this is a flower frog or flower brick. It's got um, 10 holes on the top. This was made in Portugal. Uh, this here I won for a bid of $1. And I have it listed as a buy it now for $29.99. This next item is rather large, so I'm just going to pop up a picture of it. Um, we also, no, we didn't, yes, we won this at an auction. We won this for $60. This is a vintage, like, crushed velvet hanging swag lamp. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we listed this as a buy it now for $199.99. Eric bought four of these oyster tins at a yard sale. Some oyster tins can sell really well. Um, the larger, the larger ones, like the gallon size tins, definitely have a better resale value. Uh, but these are all um, 12 fluid ounces. They look like this. So they are open on the bottom, but people collect these things. They are like a collectible type thing. We paid a dollar a piece for these, so four dollars all together. And Eric listed them as the lot for a buy it now of forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Also got this baggie of poker chips. These are actually Iron Maiden poker chips, like the heavy metal band Iron Maiden. Apparently, they had like a poker chip set out at some point. Um, so these have some really cool. Um, graphics to them um, these are not complete uh, there's I think 68 poker chips we paid 25 cents for the entire bag so we just went with it um, there's none currently listed the last full set sold for a hundred dollars so I don't know what these will sell for but we put them on auction um, as the whole lot uh, with a starting price of $19.99. So we'll see. This next item literally just sold while I was like gathering everything together that I was going to show in this haul. Um, it's this little chicken rooster on um, kind of like pole string type of piece. It's resin. Um, this is made by Blossom Bucket. And I have sold Blossom Bucket stuff before in the past, not for a lot of money, but people do collect it. It's one of those things where it's like, they're just like nice resin type of farmhouse decor type figures. Not everything is farmhouse decor, that's Blossom Bucket, but just saying like this particular piece is. Um, I think I paid a dollar or less for this and I listed it as a buy it now for $22.99 and it sold today, so. 
I just gotta get on out of here. Purchased these Birkenstock sandals at a yard sale for $1. Let's put these, put these together here. They have like this really cool kind of metallic-y snakeskin type of print to them. They are a women's size 7. They're in decent condition. People will still buy Birkenstocks with toe prints. I know that's really weird, but people will still buy them. So I paid $1 for these and I listed them as a buy it now for $39.99. I found this vintage Hazel Atlas red candy stripe um, tumbler. It's like a milk glass. And I have sold some of these before in the past. Um, unfortunately, there was only one at the, the yard sale. There wasn't like a set of them. Obviously, a set you would do way better with. Um, but it was just this one. I paid 50 cents for it and I listed it as a buy it now for $12.99 so someone can add it to their collection or replace a broken one. I also got these vintage salt and pepper shakers. These are little wooden cats. They are so stinking cute and they're still in their original packaging. Um, it does say Japan here. And then on the back it says Lanark, Ontario. So I don't know, I'm assuming these are maybe like a little souvenir type piece, um, but they're so cute. And I love the fact that they were in their original packaging. I paid 50 cents for these. And I listed these on auction with a starting price of $19.99 just because I didn't see anything quite like them listed. So I wasn't sure what they were worth. Next item, I'm popping up a picture. I think Eric might have already packed this up. Uh, but this was this really cool and it's so hard to see it in just a picture. But it's like a 3D print. Like it looks very realistic of this super cute like French poodle dog. Um, won this at an auction. I feel like we paid less than $5 for it. And I listed it as a buy it now for $39.99. I just thought it was so cute and unique and just had that kitschy type of feel to it. Um, I got this at a yard sale. This is a little left in Christmas angel. She's holding a candy cane. She is in decent condition like from the front, but she does have a crack in her back, uh, but she still does have her original sticker. Um, I paid 50 cents for her and there's not many listed. So um, it's one of those things where like, if you're just displaying her from the front, she's perfect. Um, but obviously, you know, she does have that crack in her back, which is unfortunate, but I still like saving things like this because they're just becoming increasingly harder to find. And a lot of the times I feel like when people have um, like the harder to find vintage Christmas items and stuff like that, like, you know, people will just throw them away and then that's like one less out there. You know what I mean? And I just love vintage Christmas stuff. So I had to get it. Listed her as a buy it now for $19.99. Eric won a chocolate mold at the auction. This is a German chocolate mold of this old um, Easter rabbit. It is stamped Germany back here. He paid $41 for the chocolate mold and we have it listed on auction with a starting price of $109.99. So if it would happen to not sell, it'll be relisted as a buy it now for that price. Yeah. Also won this old Winchester box at um, the auction. So it looks like this, really nice. It's got these compartments on the inside with these leather straps on top. I mean, this is a really cool, nice old wooden box. Perfect for anyone who collects hunting type things or, you know, for like man caves and that type of thing. I'm gonna set it down. So he won that at the auction for a bid of $27.50 and we listed it on auction with a starting price of $89.99. Um, and then the last thing that I have is a gourd because <laughs> Michelle has a problem with gourds. But look at this gourd, guys. <laughs> I swear I find the most 
craziest gourds ever and this one is like the craziest one I have ever found. This one is of a cat, <laughs> hand painted and I mean look at the tail on that. This is like a gourd sculpture. So incredibly cool. It's on a black base. Um, it is hand painted by, her name is Daphne Scar. I have sold um, something by her before, um, but found this at a yard sale. We paid $2 for it, and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $29.99. So we'll see if anyone <laughs> falls in love with this, but I had to get it because it was just amazing. And then for fun, I like to show sometimes the things that I picked up for myself. Um, Eric actually got this for himself. This is a Harley Davidson um, little hook. It's metal. It says Harley Davidson mufflers on the top. The man had this one and then one with the eagle. And Eric asked me which one he should get. And I was like, I like the muffler one. So that's what he got. And he paid $10 for it at the yard sale. So he's going to hang this up in the garage. So that was his find. And then for myself, um, I got this Blistex lip balm in Caramel Comet. So this would have been like a holiday, I guess, um, flavor because it's in the packaging, like holiday packaging. I paid a quarter for that. I'm obsessed with lip balms and you guys know I'm also I'm also obsessed with candles so I found this Yankee candle in the scent moonbeams on pumpkins um I actually have this one and I think it's pretty much almost gone um so I'm gonna use the rest of it come this fall and then I have one for next year um so I paid five dollars for this and it smells Oh my gosh, it smells so stinking good. Absolutely love this fragrance. Um, and I actually got this at Belinda's yard sale. So Belinda, if you were watching, hello. I hope you did great at your yard sale. I think I was at her yard sale on Thursday. So um, anyway, Belinda sometimes watches my videos. So I just want to say hi to her. Um, and then at another yard sale, I got two more candles. These ones are Bath and Body Works, um, three wicks. This one is in Coconut Cream Pie and... I got this one. I'm probably going to give this one to my aunt for Christmas because I know she's like me and loves like tropical type of smells. Um, and she's pretty much me. My aunt and I are so much alike. It's crazy. We were actually born on the same exact day, obviously different years, but it's just mind blowing how alike we are considering we were born on the same day. I want to meet someone else who was born the same day as me just to see if like we're pretty much the same person because we are the same person. It's just insane. Everything down to like putting a lot of pepper on our food. <laughs> like It's just like the weirdest stuff that like I don't know. It's just, it's, it's kind of crazy sometimes. Um, so if anyone else was born on December 9th, that's my birthday. Let me know if you see me in you at all, because you know, it's quite funny. And then the other one that I got was butter rum eggnog. Oh my God. This smells so amazing. These were $5 a piece and they're new. So this one I'm going to keep and the other one I'm going to give to her. So that's pretty much everything I believe for this yard sale haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.